first time in my understanding of Nigeria's history during democracy that we've actually had this number of young ministers in a cabinet. I am hopeful that they would add value because putting young people and putting competent young people, those are two different things. But at this stage, I want to be optimistic that every single young person who has been appointed, say for instance as a minister, would add value to the Renewed Hope administration and would be a good brand ambassador to enable more young people get future opportunities like that. Because if they misuse it, then automatically maybe it closes the door. If they use it properly, guess what? It opens the door for more young people. So this is what I'm hoping for. And I believe, I strongly believe that how this particular administration led by President Bola Ahmed Chinubu is determined to make a difference in Nigeria. And the only way to make a difference in Nigeria is to engage more young people. It's just, it's, it's the reality. Majority of the Nigerians are young and youthful. The world is fast advancing. In fact, every other part of the world, besides maybe Africa, mm -hmm. you know, has embraced younger leadership. And, I think and that's it's why added value to them. Because you see, we're talking, you're, that's why values are important. You're talking about a percentage of Nigerian youth. How many of the youth are in the music industry? How many of the youth are in the movie industry? True. How many? How many of them okay, are in politics? We're talking about a percentage, a very minute percentage. And for those people who even go into these industries, how do they even get into it? My son was actually into music. And believe me, I was unhappy about it. You were and unhappy? I was unhappy. Why? Because believe me, if you know the culture of the music industry of, in Nigeria, is drugs. Oh. The culture of the music industry in Nigeria, it's about drugs, it's about truancy, it's not, even, it's, not, it's not even a Nigeria thing. I'm, I'm not, no, I don't want to go out there because I don't know how they go about it there. But in Nigeria, well, I'm, not well, every child, I'm not saying every musician is a drug. Well, that's not what I'm saying. But the culture of your music, music industry is basically laced with drugs. Partying, drinking and everything. So I wasn't I, happy I, I also it. know that it's not all of them that do that. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Already, I said the culture. Yes. Mm. That's the culture. So when your child is going into the music industry, you don't feel at peace. I was worried because most of the he told me that when he goes to the site, he, who he sees there and what they do there. So I wasn't actually comfortable about that. I'm not now. We, it's not just about this people. Yeah, some of them have been successful, and of course we are so proud of them. But I'm talking about the majority of Nigerians who are not in the music industry, who are not in politics, who are just there. What's our culture? We we don't have a culture of believing in the country. Mm -hmm. There's it's every man on his own. It's about blowing. I'm talking about creating a culture of value system. What can you do for Nigeria? What can you give back to Nigeria? How can we make Nigeria better? You and know, that stems from us as parents.